Okay, let's see how we can solve this exponential equation. And we see that we have two different bases. Right, we have 2 to the x plus 3 power, and that's equal to 3 to the x plus 2 power. And you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Alright, uh, this is how I do it. You guys can let me know how to do it. On the left hand side, notice that we have x plus 3 in the power, so we can use the rule of exponent to break this apart. So we will see this is 2 to the x times 2 to the third power. And we will do the same thing on the right hand side. 3 to the x times 3 to the second. Well, unfortunately, 2 to the 3rd and 3 to the 2nd, they are different values, right? This right here is 8. So we have 8, and this is times 2 to the x power. And then this right here is 9, and then times 3 to the x power. And I will just go ahead and put all the numbers on one side and all the x's on the other. And perhaps let me divide this to here and divide this to here. So we are going to get 2 to the x over 2 to the 3rd. Just kidding. We're going to get, let, let's do this. I'm going to divide us 3 to the x like this, and then divide us 3 to the x like this. So this and that cancel, and I will also divide the 8, so they cancel. Yeah. So here, notice that both of them have x in their power. So we are going to just go ahead and write it as 2 over 3 to the x power. And the right hand side, we have the 9 over 8. Now we have a number raised to x power is equal to this. Number is positive. Yes, a solution. And we can just go ahead and simply take log with this for the base, namely 2 over 3. So let's just do log 2 over 3 on both sides. So that this and that cancel. And finally, we see that x is just nicely equal to log base of 2 over 3 of 9 over 8. This is okay. I know we might be like, huh, how do we really take care of the log with fraction base, right? It's okay. If you really want to, you really want to? No. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's see how we can do this. So if you really want to, we can just use a change of base formula, right? So let's use ln. So x is equal to ln of the top, or of this being on the top, so it's 9 over 8, and then over ln of that, right? So 2 over 3. Cool, and then guess what? We can break this apart, which is ln of 9 and then minus ln of 8. Over this right here is ln 2 minus ln 3. You want me to simplify more? Oh, come on. Okay, fine. This is 3 to the second power. This is 2 to the third power. So we can put this to the front, put that to the front. So it looks like we have 2 ln 3 and then minus 3 ln 2 over ln2 and then minus ln3. Alright, this is it. I'm not going to do anything anymore. Uh, it looks really nice. I don't think there's any way to simplify this though. So I'll stop right here. That's it. Check out my other videos for more videos. Bring algebra, of course.